I'm doing a test this morning on uh, the coffee that I drink every day. Now I make my coffee with alkaline ionized water from my Melody water ionizer back here. And um, just to show you what that water is like to begin with, this is what the, the water that I pour in my coffee pot be, to brew. It starts out at an 11.27 pH. And let's see what the ORP is. Oops. Looks like a negative 295 or thereabouts ORP. Okay, so now I'm going to test the pH over here of this coffee just to show you what does coffee do <laughs> to your water. Now, if I would have put just regular tap water in, this would even be worse. But it looks like um, about a five point, still settling down, like a 5.9 pH. Yeah, about a 5.93 pH or 5.92. 5.91. <laughs> okay, 5.9, we'll say. All right. And the ORP uh, went to like a positive. It looks like it's uh, jumping up into the positive range here on the ORP. So that's what happens just by pouring your water through a coffee uh, per, uh, coffee pot and making yourself co coffee. Now this is a lot, actually a lot better than soda, <laughs> which, which is another story altogether. Um, but let's see how much water uh, I need to add to this, how much of this water I need to add to neutralize the pH of the coffee. So I'm just going to add some, and this is just a visual, it's not meant for scientific testing. But um, it's coming up in pH. So, actually, not, actually, that was not too bad. This um, probably 200% uh, more water added to it actually neutral, neutralizes it. Um, if you look at the soda video, <laughs> you'll see that uh, that was terrible. 7.22, that's, that's practically right on the button of neutral. Um, <laughs> when, I, when I did the test with soda, and you can look at this later, I started out with this much soda in the cup and I had to add this much to neutralize it. That's how bad soda is, but you know, coffee's not too bad. <laughs> it is acidic though, so just uh, watch how much you drink of it.